In this week's parasha, we're told about how the Jews are approaching the Yamsuf, and there's something so odd. As the Jews approach the Yamsuf, they're told, Daber el b'nei Yisrael, v'yeshuvu v'yachanu al piachiros. The Jews are told, turn around, make a U-turn, and go back to the place that you encamped just a few days ago. Now imagine being there as part of the Jewish nation. We just left Mitzrayim, and now we're on our way to Eretz Yisrael, and we're told, return, go back to the place where you just came from. Why, why did Hashem tell them to do this? What's the meaning? What's the message here? Sfas Emes has an unbelievable idea. He says that we know in Geulas Mitzrayim, in the redemption from Egypt, that everything happened quickly. Everything happened with haste, with great haste. Ki bechipazon, everything happened. The matzos, ki lo that we didn't have enough time. We had to get out so fast. There was such a need for speed. The Zohar HaKadosh tells us that the reason that that was, was because the Jewish people were on the 49th level of impurity. And if they, would have let, if they would have stayed in Mitzrayim for just even one more second, that's it, they would have never been able to leave Egypt. Therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu had to take us out. He had to take us out Biad Ramah, but very quickly. Svas Emes says, that's the reason why the Jews had to go back. That when they're going into Eretz Yisrael, when they want a geula, which is going to last, it can't be a geula, which happens with haste. It can't be something that HaKadosh Baruch Hu just gives us and that's it. it needs, there needs to be an avoda. There needs to be a process. There needs to be a process, mitzad, a person. So the reason that they have to go back is so that the avoda can come from us, is that you can return, and now when you come through the Yamsuf, that that's the avoda of Am Yisrael. Yishayo Anavi, when describing what, what the time of uh, Gula is going to be like in the future redemption, he says, Ki lo the eventual Geula, when Mashiach comes, it's not going to be fast. It's not going to be like Mitzrayim. It's going to be a process. And the Bnei Yisachar explains, just like this Svas Emes, he says, because when it comes from Hashem, and it comes fast, it can leave us fast as well. That inspiration won't last forever. But when it comes from us, when we build it from the bottom up, and we build that inspiration inside, when we have an avoda, that's when Gula will last. I bless us all that we should continue to live through these parashios and be zochet to our Gula through a beautiful, beautiful process. Shabbos.